just a warning this um video is gonna be shaky it's recording off my gopro and um i have my gopro mounted onto a little clip and i clipped it onto my belt so that's why it's shaky um other than that yeah um, so this morning when i woke up i felt a little i had that impending doom feeling um i i was not sure what happened but you know it comes and go but i didn't react to it or anything because i was still st still pretty tired when i woke up this morning um i actually don't think i woke up in the middle of the night well maybe once but i'm not too sure but i don't know wh what happened why i felt the way i felt but you know sometimes we feel that way for no reason anyways um <laughs> one thing i do regret when i woke up back up around nine something i should have just walked out the house you know um went for a bike ride for a walk or something because for the first month and a half two months of summer i was i would leave my bedroom i would go into the backyard the front yard i even go for like a quick bike ride i walk around the area my neighborhood early in the morning and then the last month of summer i kind of got into that bad habit of leaving my house late like when i say late um i mean like you know up around noon towards the evening hour so so yeah i kind of regret that but you know at least i'm, I'm still still leaving my house <laughs> sometimes i won't go too far sometimes i'll just go to the, the school that you see right ahead of me and just walk around the field which I'm okay with because um you know before I would only go to this block this little corner right here where you see right now and head right back home I wouldn't even cross the street because a couple I actually I think yeah last year around this time when I was walking uh, once I got to that corner I felt panicky because <laughs> I don't know why, but as soon as I got to that little corner to, before I crossed the street to the school, <clears throat> I would feel anxiety building up. I would feel like I had to want to feel like I got sick to my stomach. So <clears throat> that's the reason why, like, sometimes I walk around the same area, like this street that I'm, I am at now. I Sometimes I ride my bike here. Sometimes I'll, I'll be in the other neighborhood, you know. I ride my bike different areas. Sometimes I'll go to this street now, turn back and come out from a different street. Um, but where I'm turning right now, this area, um, I had a couple of times I had the uh, the panic moment. I'm not too sure what triggered it. No, that's just my jacket getting in the way of the camera. But I don't know what what um my mind thought that was causing me to feel panicky. So that's the reason why I choose to to walk around this area. <laughs> so when I when I go to the same area, um, around the same town, that's when I I feel panicky at the same time every day. So I choose to to go to the street to allow myself to feel panicky. It doesn't always happen, but you know, like today it didn't happen when I was walking here. But a couple of days ago. <laughs> When I was walking here, I, I don't know, I had that urge to run home. I felt like I had to vomit. And I felt like I was going to, I felt like I was getting really dizzy. I was going to faint and all that. But um, even though I had the urge to run that day, I just slowed down. <laughs> I plant my foot in the ground. Like, you know what I mean by, I just stopped where I was. And then I slowed down, like. I forced myself not to run, and then, so I even walk slower. Just so when I walk slow, my my anxiety quickly decrease. If I walk faster, it increases because because I'm allowing my my mind to scare me. But if I'm controlling my mind, like you know, I'm telling my mind, "Hey, um, I'm no, I'm not in any danger. There's no reason for you to." you know protect me the way you're protecting me now because you know like the more we allow ourselves to get scared of whatever our brain thinks we're scared of 
the harder it is for us to recover. That's why um, you see me going to um, the same area sometimes because if I feel panicky in that area, it, before I would run the one off. And then when I run off home, because you know when you're running, your heart starts racing. You know, um, you, your heart starts racing, you feel more panicky, right? It's because your heart's pounding. So, if you slow down, catch your breath, walk slowly, that panicky feeling will, will also slow down because you're not, you're not forcing yourself to panic. You know, you're allowing, you're telling your brain that you're not scared and you're, you're in no danger. But as soon as you run, for example, you see this tree right here? If I feel panicky right there, and I have the urge to run, and I do run home, I'm, I'm going to feel panicky all the way home. It's because I'm running fast, my heart is pounding. When I'm starting, I'll start sweating, you know, I'll, my muscle will tense up, and then if I go back to that area again the next day, to that same, to that same tree, you know, my, my subconscious mind would help remind me and say it's time for you to panic and then I'll ask myself why and then it'll be like my mind would tell me because you had a panic moment there and you actually ran so if you ran home that from that area that you feel panicky over and over you know every time you go there it's going to get worse and worse so that's why I choose to Go to the same area. If I feel panicky, I have to rush to one. I'm going to stop where I feel panicky. And then I'm going to like walk backwards maybe. Or I'll just stay there for a few minutes and then walk slowly. So the slower I walk, the sooner I calm down. It's because I'm allowing, my, I'm allowing myself to feel that panicky moment and allow telling my my brain that I'm not scared, there's nothing to be scared of, and I'm okay. Because <laughs> um, if you allow yourself to get scared, and every time you go to that, wherever you feel panicky and you did one, your mind is going to tell you every time you go there that it's dangerous. It's because you're reminding yourself over and over and over again that, you, that you're scared of that area. You know, it's another example. If I had a panic attack right here in front of this house, if I go by the house and I see it and I feel panicky, I'm going to tell myself, hey, um, I feel panicky here. So the next time I go near there, I'm going to feel panicky and I'm going to run. So it's like a cycle. If you don't, if you keep feeling scared of the same area, it's, it's nothing with the area. It's because you're telling yourself that it's dangerous, but if you if you go there and you feel panicky and you do nothing, or you just like, you just say, so what? And you just like calm yourself down. And then you go back again, keep doing it over and over. You won't feel panicky there anymore. It's because you're telling yourself that nothing bad is going to happen in front of that house, in front of that tree or whatever. And that's what I'm trying to do. So... <laughs> Pretty soon I'm going to be going back to the um, to the store that I had my first two panic attacks and, you know, just to see how I'll react. If I, if I feel like I had to run, I'm just going to stay there, you know, and I'll keep going back over and over till I don't feel it like I had to run anymore. So um, just a couple houses away and that's pretty much it with this video.